construction can take a fair amount of time. You know, a house can take shape on a lot much like this in a matter of weeks, even months. But neighbors saw this house pop up in a single day. That's because it's not constructed out of lumber. It's constructed out of building blocks. There are an estimated 17 million shipping containers on Earth, many piled up in ports or stacked on cargo ships, circling the world along busy trade routes. But the majority of those 17 million containers are no longer in use. But instead of filling landfills, some older shipping containers are getting a second life as housing structures. It's already a trend around the world, and now it is here in Metro Detroit. Three friends from college started Medeco Development, the company building this home in Royal Oak out of seven shipping containers. Two of us are engineers by degree, so engineers are, are born and made to uh, tackle and solve challenges and problems. So we figured, you know, hey, why not just give it a shot? Nilish Patel and his partners bought the containers from the Port of Detroit. Obviously, with used containers, you're not going to get everything that's 100% perfect. Some have rust spots, some have some dings and dents. But you know what? I think that adds to the character of it because we're building something that's out of repurposed material. We're not using something that's brand new. The finished product will be a 2100 square foot, two story open concept home. Three bedrooms, two and a half bath with two balconies. We wanted to uh, use one of the containers as your stairway giving you a lot of open space, a lot of light coming into the house. While Medeco is concentrating on single family homes in the suburbs, across town in Detroit, a company called Three Squared is building multi-unit condos in Corktown. We got an email saying, hey, I'm looking for your shipping container project. I've driven all over Corktown, up and down Trumbull. I can't find it. So that's a great testament to what we really wanted to prove. The idea of living inside shipping containers strikes some as uncomfortable, too boxy or industrial. Others worry a big metal box may be like living inside an oven during the summer and a fridge in the wintertime. Because we've layered technologies, we've layered some thermal blockers, we've layered some other pieces along with traditional, so our R factors are a lot higher. Steel is a great conductor of thermal mass, and so we block heat from escaping in the winter and we block heat from coming in in the summer. The containers are strong. They're designed to be safely stacked 12 high on a freighter across the open sea. They can withstand high winds and other treacherous weather. There is no basement. We did that on purpose because we're not fans of basement. Basements have a lot of issues. The cement walls can crack, there can be leaks, there can be sump pump failures. As we found out last year during the massive uh, Metro Detroit flooding, everyone's basements got flooded. They suffered a lot of floods here in Royal Oak, but this house, completely dry. There was no water infiltration whatsoever here. Both developers see the containers as a selling point and are leaving peaks of the houses, cargo hauling past visible. There's a manifest on every single container. We know that four out of these nine containers traveled together from the day they were born to the day that they are retired here in the lovely city of Detroit. They went to India, they went to New Zealand together. So we know exactly what they carried, shoes and you know beauty supplies and Everything that gets imported into the United States is really what they're purposed for. And they're used to carrying 60,000 pounds in each one. That's what they're rated for. Our walls literally have traveled the world. So who wants to live in a container house? We thought the original target was going to be a tech savvy, you know, maybe a Gen uh, Y or a Gen X, you know, but honestly, it's been all over the spectrum from young to old, from, uh, new new grads to retirees. Using containers cuts construction time drastically. Structures can be built in less than half the time. Realtors say that's a major advantage, especially in a tight housing market like Corktown. People are really excited with the fact that they could potentially buy this year, that they could identify a condominium that they want and close on it by the end of the year. Quicker construction also keeps costs down. So that's the golden question of this house is what's the price tag? The price is yet to be determined because it is such a new concept. What I can say is that it'll be about 10 to 20% cheaper than the new construction that's going on in the area. Cargo container architecture or cargo texture is more common in Europe and on the east and west coast and containers are being used for more than just homes. They're the bones of everything from a container bar in Austin to a research station in Antarctica. It's a trend that may just be getting started in Metro Detroit. We truly believe that we're just on the on the beginning 
of cargo architecture, and it's gonna last, it's gonna last. Mark my words, mark my words, this is not a fad. Three Squared is already working on phase two, an eight condo unit right here in Corktown. They expect to be dropping boxes any day now. Also, Medeco is working on this kit home so customers across the country can create their own container dwellings.